What is up, y'all? Today I am going to be making a cichlid cave. Um, you can buy cichlid caves online. Usually they run anywhere from $20 and up. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to make one just using a simple 97 cent terracotta pot, my drill, a 2 inch hole saw bit, and then since I'm not the greatest at cutting through them evenly, I've got my basic Dremel for cleaning it. And then I've got a bucket of water with a, uh, a bucket with a little bit of water in it because your drill bit will heat up and can cause friction and problems with cutting through it. Now I've soaked my pot for quite a while. This one actually did come out of my uh, 60 gallon cichlid tank. Um, but uh, I'd say soak it overnight, that way it's easier, it makes it a lot easier to cut through. <laughs> what are you two doing? Of course, I've got my dogs out here who apparently think they need to help me. Okay, well I, you gotta, first you wanna kinda look at your pot and figure out exactly where you want your hole to go, which I think I'm going to make it right about there. And make sure your drill is going the right direction, and then just slowly get the punch hole through first. Make your pilot hole so that your hole saw, you know, stays in the right place. too much here. Clean some of the junk out of it. You don't need the terracotta pot, Sadie. Silly dog. Okay, let's off the, the bit again. Alright. And we're through. Now for the hard part. Since the pot is angled and round, it's a little bit harder to do an even hole through it. And this is the part where I have a little bit of trouble, especially since I'm using a metal um, hole saw. We'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Now since it's cutting mostly here, I need to try to lean back on it just a little bit to get the other side. <laughs> Rinsing it just to kind of see where I'm at. See, it's, it's drilling deeper down here on the bottom, so now I've got to try to adjust. Uh-oh. And it looks like it's coming off on me. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, don't want 
that to happen because if it gets too wobbly, it's not going to cut right. Try to cut it from this side again. <sighs> Slowly but surely. Oh, let's get this wet so it doesn't bind up on me. Okay. So far, so good. Whoop, uh oh, do the bottom. So now I gotta be careful how I do the top here. So I don't want this to crack on me. Okay. See how the edges, since I, I'm not very good at making sure it stays even, my edges are a little on the rough side. Which, on the inside, it's, it's pretty smooth so it won't tear up your cichlid, but I kind of want to clean it up and make it look a little more nicer. So we've got, I've got my just standard basic Dremel here, the round um, sanding bit on it, and I'm just going to Go around the edges to try to even it out a little here. It's not the prettiest, but it didn't cost me 20 bucks plus shipping and handling. And I'm sure that my black convicts will like it pretty good for their for their breeding purposes. Now with the terracotta, you can attach things to it like uh, plants, um, especially like the uh, Anubis variety, since their roots do not have to be planted down in substrate, which we will probably do eventually, um, or at the moment we don't have any Anubis on hand. Thanks for watching. This has been Insane Female DIY Cichlid Cave with a terracotta pot. Thank you. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button.